Hey, look over there on that tree. Looks like something we learned about in mycology. But all these mushrooms are so different from one another. And how do we tell one fungi from another? They aren't all mushrooms. You gotta watch your terminology, brother. You gotta listen to Dr. McLean. She's our fungi mother. Fungi are a unique kingdom, a taxa on their own. Not plants or animals, cell walls of chitin. They're lacking bone. You see them as fruiting bodies, like mushrooms on your pizza. They come in many other forms, the types you wouldn't like to eat. Sir. Molds on your bread or rusts on your wheat. They've got a game that can't be beat. Sticking to the host through snow and sleet. These parasites steal the host nutrients so they don't have to eat. Digesting everything from lignin to meat. A fungus is a heterotroph, needs other creatures. Stealing their nutrients to build its own feature. They aren't all bad, as you will come to see. They're antibiotics, earned in the pharmacy. They colonize new soil to make room for a tree, fixing nitrogen and nutrients, making soil down to a T. They move the cells unlike a tree, making them far more like you and me. Using asexual and sexual strategies to spread their genes efficiently. When the environment gets in their grill, they go to make a spore. When the spore mixes with a homie, another colony is in store. Crashing with the hyphae can perform gene transfer too, forming fungi that aren't clones from hyphae sticking like glue. Getting new traits from both mum and dad, you get the best of both worlds, traits the other never had. Rapid genetic recombination lets them survive like mad. What's this fungus growing on this tree? Well, it's an ascomycete, except some enlightenment for me. The biggest group of fungi, 64,000 species probably, coming from ascos, meaning bag in the Greek, described by their sexual structures, which from spores leak, sending out their bachelors a mate to seek. Classified by six genes, says biologist Conrad Schock and his et al. crew. They have the largest database of ascos, that is true, but the classification of the ascos is a little bit askew, popping in subcategories right out of the blue. Like Deuteron Mikado, who can't produce sexually, and while other Ascos can, disjoining is a necessity. Pazizio Mikoda are another group of Ascohodons. You can distinguish them from their cuff spoon of disc like fruiting bodies. The two most famous of the Asco gang are Penicillium and the yeast Escervicium. They allow for penicillin bread and brew to enter into play. The latter of the, ten, the two 10,000 years ago researchers say the productive power of Asco Mikoda makes them huge in industry. Break time. Stop! Uh, this what? knowledge will probably save you. Though Basidios can be tasty, they can be deadly too. Death caps and death angels will end you like a gun. Like cyanide or neurotoxins in your system, they're no fun. Though some Basidios are very good to eat, like shit. Really? Aki mushroom what? soup, which is a real treat, or making creamy sauces to top our meat. Not only on the dinner plate do they have a tasty roll, but on detritus and debris, they take a mighty toll. Using mycorrhizal exocytosis, which releases enzymes, they break down substrates tougher than these rhymes. Damn! You ask why I only rap about mushroom caps, because in this asexual reproduction, the CDOs do not lapse. Sporulating structures look like glass bottles from stills. You only see the exospores sprouting on the gills. The CDOs reproduce sexually to get their thrills, spreading around gemmies like doctors pushing pills. The next time you're wandering through bush and tree, every Basidio and Asco that you see, you may now classify based on the info from, from me you. and a budding new mycologist. You'll, You'll soon be. be. Really?